Alright, uh, today I have a Bonwell B200. It is a laptop from 1989 with a very special keyboard. Um, it has Cherry MX Blue switches on under its keys. Um, if you hear that. Um, I've been trying to get it working for, uh, I want to say two years now. Uh, it just wouldn't read floppies. I pretty sure I've tried cleaning, it's been so long I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I tried cleaning the uh, heads of the floppy drives and that didn't work. So what I did this time um, is I just replaced the floppy drives. They're 720 kilobyte, but uh, I read online and this seems true that you can replace the 720 kilobyte drives with 1.44 megs and they'll just revert to 720 kilobyte mode. And that seems to be the case because when I uh, did that it started working. So, another thing I found out with the old drives in, it wouldn't read, well if I, if I put the new drive in the A, in the uh, A, A um, portion, and then I stuck one of the old, the secondary B drive from the old, the secondary B drive that was the uh, old one, it would not read any floppies from the working A drive. But when I removed the B, the B drive, it worked fine. Um, so I just stuck a brand, I just stuck a whole other floppy drive into the B. So this brand new floppy drives, well not brand new, but mostly new. Um, but the problem is, uh, you have to stick a screwdriver in there to get get them out because the buttons don't align. Um, but really, I don't have any need to remove them except for the B drive. But I don't have to remove it often because um, the A is just going to keep being the. Um, it's just going to keep being the. Uh, OS drive, so I just leave the floppy in there. Um, around the back, um, we have a 9 volt power. We have 9 volt power, um, parallel, a screen invert switch. I can show you what that does in a second. Um, a RS-232 serial port, and um, I don't even know, probably EGA out. Um, I think it is EGA. I haven't tried CGA on it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's EGA. Um, so now, if we flip this back around, and also only one of the latches works, the other one's kind of broken, um, I can just move it up and down while the other one's on a spring. Um, so if I turn this on with a little switch right there, um, it does a little reboot loop a couple times, and then it, re it gives you out what your ports and your drives are, and it counts the RAM. Um, right now I'll show you what the, uh, so if I flip that switch on the back, it does that. It inverts it, which is pretty cool. Oh, oops, a daisy. Um, it's just hard to read that on camera, so. And then it gives you a little, do you want to choose your LCD or CRT? After a certain amount of time, it just does LCD. Um, so I've got a copy of DOS 3.3 on here. Um, I don't even bother setting the time because it doesn't stay. Um, but right there, we've got our we've got our A prompt, so it's not very clear. But so if I do B, if I switch to the B drive, I think I got that. Yeah. Um, it'll switch to the B drive, and then if I go directory, uh, you'll list out. I've got Word Perfect on here, so if I do Word Perfect. It'll start loading Word Perfect, and basically my whole point of this machine is to have a distraction-free um, word processor. Because it's got such a nice keyboard, it'd be a shame not to use it. Uh, so, and there we go, Word Perfect loads. And uh, you can type anything, really. So, and then it asks, you know, uh, do you have another copy of it on this machine? I just type no, because I don't. Um, and there we go. So now we can just type anything we want. And a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. Also it's got a contrast slider, so if I turn that it goes all the way down. If I turn it this way. Um, so yeah, that is my Bondwell B200. Thanks for watching.